everybody Ann here. Well, I was sitting here having my coffee with all of you, but Miss Judy dumped it over, so I'm going to have to go make some more. So, I've let the chickens out there in the yard, just kind of eating their little morning treat that I give them. And, uh, well, I don't know. I'm hoping to get more of the, the uh, wood-burning stove installed. We'll see if that happens today. Going to cook something on the rocket stove again. I think Cody and Hannah are coming over again. And I want to show you some pretty cool gifts that I got. Alrighty, so, well, let's just get this day going. Poor little guy. When the chickens try to eat him, I don't know. I don't think I can let that happen. Let's go find him a safe place. Or her. Cute little froggy. I hope you hop far, far away, little froggy. Because those are some hungry chickens. Look at that thing. Let's go put it over by this tree here. Sweet little foggy. Here you go. Be free. Well, I guess a couple of the girls decided to fly the coop, even though I haven't opened the door yet, so I guess they're telling me they want to free range. So I'll go open the door. The first thing I want to show you is from Miss Tanya. I got a little package from Tanya and she sent me a card. And I love cards. Thinking of you, it has a picture of a pretty horse on it. Hi Anne, I saw these rain ponchos and I thought of you. I hope they help. Yes, my thoughts are with you today and always. I love your videos. Yours is the first one I watch with my morning coffee, so keep them coming. Have an amazing day. Well, you have an amazing day too, Tanya. And check this out. I'll tell you what, if I had just opened these a day earlier because it was raining and I was doing stuff out in the rain, these absolutely would have come in handy because I was drenched. Everything got drenched. So I've got a clear one. I've got a green one, which is my favorite color, and I got a pink one. So thank you, Tanya. I love those so much. Very, very thoughtful gift. This next one comes from Teresa. In my favorite color. I'm not going to take it out because I already did take it out, and I wanted to put it back in and have it uh, safe and sound until I can put it up. This is a hammock. I'm going to be able to string that up. I have two trees that I'm thinking I could put this attach it to and it's nicely shaded and it's got a nice view so this was another great idea thank you so much Teresa I'm going to get plenty of use out of this okay remember this you saw this at the end of yesterday's video it is a wall symbol let me get the note and we've already installed the front part this goes in the back and it's adjustable it can slide all the way in or when I do it actually through the wall, I can slide it out for the correct thickness. This just goes in like this. Well, you can't see. <laughs> I'm just shoving it in there. It's in the back. It makes it a double-walled sort of a um, pipe thing. So we got this installed yesterday, and it just worked perfectly. Everything fit, and I'm going to show you in a minute. And this comes from, let's see, hi, Ann. I've enjoyed your videos so much. I want you to be able to enjoy your wood stove this winter. Always praying for you from Eden. I'm not going to get the last name unless she wants to. Eden. Thank you. This thimble, 100% perfect. It fits exactly with the other parts that I had wanted. So, yeah, this was a big, big part of the wood burning stove install. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you some of the other things that someone else sent. Now, this person wants to remain anonymous, um, but I'm going to show you what they sent, okay? Let me see. <laughs> All right, of course, well, I've already got this put together. I mean, I could take it apart. This is the elbow pipe, all right? This is going to go on top of the, the stove pipe that's coming out of the wood-burning stove. This here is a double-walled galvanized steel pellet stove pipe. Now the guide gear uh, pipes are a little bit different size so everything of theirs is not completely interchangeable with the others so I had to find kind of like pick and choose and find the right sizes that I thought were going to fit and as it happens it all fits. Of course a three inch goes into the three inch 
no problems. This fits perfectly into here. See that? So we've got a double walled going into a double walled, okay? So the anonymous person got me this, and these are not that inexpensive. The three inch elbow pipes, as well as two of the guide gear extension pipes so I could get it up over the roof. And where's that one other part? Okay, there's one more very important part that I gotta show you. Well, actually there's three more parts, but this is the only one that's coming in. So let me find that. I'm gonna show that to you too. What do you know? It's sitting right next to me. <laughs> this, this is the bracket that you put the stovepipe through when you get it up over the roof, and this will connect it to the side of the tiny house. Uh, I'm not going to take it all out, just the little hoopy thing so you can see. Uh, so there's two little brackets that go onto this that attach to the tiny house. This goes over the stovepipe, you tighten it, and there's um, a bolt that you use to squeeze it together. So there's a lot of leeway, and this is going to fit perfectly. It might even be just a teeny bit big, but I have some clamps that I can use to secure it more if it starts like, you know, if it, the wind causes it to shake around and cause noise and stuff. So this will go up onto the roof, onto the stovepipe, and, um, <laughs> well, it'll secure it to the tiny house so that the stovepipe doesn't go all hairy carry all over the place. Now... Now, all I'm waiting on is, um, and I already know that I'm getting this because this person told me that they're sending it, and so it should come at any time. I'm getting the fire bricks. Um, the fire bricks are really pretty essential for an, inside of these wood stoves. You don't have to have them, but if you want to have your wood stove last for a long time, you need the fi fire bricks in the bottom. Some people even put them up over the top and create a little um, roof thingy, too, without blocking the the um, stovepipe going up. So the fire bricks are on the way. Also, um, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do to go behind the stove and underneath. Um, because, you know, I've got, you know, limited space and I wanted to make sure that I was safe. So, um, on my wish list, I put a welder's blanket on it, a four by six um, welder's blanket, which is bigger than you would think I need. But what I want to do is bring it up um, up the wall behind the wood stove up to where the window is and eventually up to the ceiling when I install it through the wall and then underneath. Now this welding blanket withstands up to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit I think um, with sparking and, and that kind of stuff. Um, some people even use it to put them over there over the top of their smokers and whatnot to um, you know maintain the heat inside but I want it specifically for, um, to shield the heat against the wall as well as catch any sparks that come out of the stove. Um, so I will have that extended out and in front of the stove enough so that I won't be getting things caught on fire. And I've also got a piece of, well, it's like the, the metal roofing that's on top of the shed. I have some remnants of those and I'm also going to put those at least one a uh, tall one behind the wood burning stove in front of the welder's blanket that will go onto the wall. Um, so that's all going to be very, very safe. So I can't believe I'm getting it all. I hope that we can get it installed today at least as much as what I've got because I can easily bring the welding blanket and put that under there um, later and um, just finishing everything else up. But Yesterday, Cody, Cody and Hannah came over and, um, well, okay, so I, I found my skill saw, finally, and so we were trying to figure out ways to do it, so, yep, we just kind of like drew a line where it was too long, and I tried to use a skill saw myself, and I was so afraid I was going to screw it up, and the vibrations and whatnot, it just, um, I couldn't hold on to it very well, but before even that, so... You know, I used that skill saw when I did the band build, and I didn't have anybody helping me then. That's been over a year and a half ago, um, almost two years ago is when I started it. Um, 
so I, I cut everything and I, I knew how to do everything back then, but I haven't used that skill saw in so long. So I found my little saw bits and oh, I'm almost embarrassed to tell you. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to tell you. Just know that Cody and I had a big laugh <laughs> because I, I couldn't figure something out. Anyhow, so I let him do the sawing and he sawed perfectly. And then um, we traced the circle for, you know, where we needed to put the um, wall thimble through. And then I was able to accomplish dr drilling a big hole in the center of it so we could slip the saw blade down and then just go and then he was able to saw that circle out perfectly i just i can't believe it and he did such a good job so thank you cody if you're watching this and hopefully we'll be able to get the rest of it done today i'm very proud of the work we've done so far um it's going to be very very safe very solid um if i can just keep it from smoking um, inside. So that's going to be interesting to see how that's all going to work. Um, oh, I've got one more thing to show you. Here, it's actually lighting me right now. Let me grab it. See this? This is a USB light. It's got a little hang hanger thing on it, and the light is very, very bright. It's got a little switch down at the bottom, but that's kind of like way over there, so I'm not going to mess with it. The same person then sent me um, everything else but the wall thimble also sent me this. And it uses so little power, and I use it, I mean, it lights up the entire, the entire cabin at night. And so what I do, because it's, it's actually a very bright, um, I put a little red scarf over it and hang it up, and it makes it really ambient and glowy looking. So thank you, lovely person, for sending me this. Thank you, the lovely person who also sent me all of the rest of the stuff that I needed for the stove and thank you Eden for that wall thimble that wall thimble is absolutely perfect I was so worried about you know whether or not things were gonna fit but everything fits great so you guys thank you you're helping me make my dream you're, you're making my dreams come true I'm so tired I was up late last night doing some reading and researching and stuff and I didn't get to bed and so I'm tired and I haven't even had my coffee because Judy dumped over my coffee so I have to go make more coffee um so I'm rambling anyhow um I don't know what else is going to go on today uh, I'm pretty sure Cody and Hannah are coming over later and like I said we're going to cook something I don't know what we had hot dogs and mac and cheese yesterday it was delicious so I don't know if they want to have some soup or something like that we'll figure it out but anyway, I just wanted to share all those wonderful gifts that I got. Um, the ponchos. Oh my gosh, Danya. You know what? That, that was so thoughtful. I needed those ponchos the other day, so those are going to come in handy for sure. Anyhow, I just keep repeating myself. Um, anyhow, I, I just got to get outside and do something. Oh my goodness, one more thing I wanted to show you. This is a painting that Hannah painted just for me, so let me grab it and I'm going to show it to you. Check this out. See, she made it of my property, and she painted it all herself. She signed it. She's got birds up in there. She's got my tiny house and the little front porch. Check it out. And the sign, Anne's Tiny Life. And look at the sun is coming up over there. Isn't that pretty? And she put color in the trees. And we've got chickens, and we've got flowers. And what is that? I think that's me sitting out there having my coffee. There's a little trail, and she got the color of the clay and everything. So I thought that this was so amazing. I am definitely going to get a frame for this. And when I get my walls finished, shh, don't say the I word. Don't say it. Don't say it. I'm going to put this up and display it proudly. Thank you so much, Hannah. I just adore you. Oh, my goodness. Look who just came, the UPS dude. So let me see if I can this open. Hang on. I don't know what this is. I've been told I've been getting a couple things, but all right, let me just open this up. Maybe I can just do this right now. Yep, this is it. This is what I was waiting for. It comes from the anonymous person who gave me all the other stove parts, except for the wall thimble, even gave me that. So I'm just gonna grab these out of here and show you what they are. Oh, this is heavy. All right, let me, let me get it out and use both hands. Oh man, this is gonna be so nice. This is, this is kind of heavy, guys, and it feels so nice. 
thermal protection from sparks and spatter made of flame retardant fiberglass, metal grommets on each side, blah, blah, blah. And it feels really nice too. And I'm going to open this outside because during packing, I guess they say there may be some dust and whatnot. So I'm going to open it up outside, give it a good shake. And then this is, oh my gosh, it feels so nice. It's going to be easy to clean up. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, let me open the box. I know what's in it and it's going to be heavy. These are the fire bricks. These are great. I don't know if I'll put them this way or this way, but these will help preserve the, the bottoms of my wood burning stove and the sides and whatnot. They will help retain heat and they come with this <laughs> packed in this cool stuff. Let me see if I can grab, grab it here that I know I'm going to be able to use. See this? Any areas that are not filled in by the, the wood through the window, I'm going to be able to cut strips of this off and shove it in and use it to kind of block, you know, cold from getting in and heat from getting out. So this, this is also amazing. You guys, I have everything I need for the wood burning stove. I am set. I hadn't intended on making this just one big gift video, but this video has gotten so long. So we'll just have to show you more in the next video. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.